What's happening everybody? It's Scott here from WFLBC and uh, today I want to talk about customizing your cameras, making them your own. If you have a camera, chances are it probably has the strap on it that came in the box or whatever. It's just out of the box and you use it. Maybe you've got a couple lenses for it, that's great. But there is something to be said for making that camera your own in the looks department as well. And I just picked up something for my favorite little underrated camera, uh, my Fujifilm X-A1. I've already got this uh, cool rope strap on it and this brown half leather case. I've also changed out the uh, lens cap on this uh, 27 millimeter pancake lens because the original one is a piece of garbage. One thing this camera doesn't have, which other Fujifilm X-Series cameras have, is it doesn't have a threaded shutter release button. So my X-T10 has a threaded shutter release button and I've got a soft release on it. So this threads into the button and it's got a little rubber O-ring and it just gives you a little more control. Um, it's a nicer feel as you're shooting. I found something uh, from this company called Artisan Obscura and this is not a paid post. I bought this with my own money. They don't know I'm making this video, but uh, if they want to send me some free stuff, I am completely open to that. So uh, hit me up guys. So what I got, it came in a nice box. I've already opened it all up, but what I got is a wooden uh, hot shoe cover, which has something stuck on my hand and an adhesive soft release, so it's quite small. This is Chalked Vega, so this is a very common wood in guitar making. It's a kind of an orangey wood that ages really nicely, and I think that it goes well with uh, the case and the strap, so it's got a little adhesive pad on the bottom, and that's going to stick onto this shutter release button here, just to give it another uh, little customization to personalize it and make it my own. I've never used a stick-on soft release before, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is gonna work. So I've cleaned uh, the surface of the shutter button. Uh, now that I've just touched it again, I should probably give it a wipe. I wanna get all my skin oils off of it before I stick this thing down. Um, let me aim the camera down here and we'll put this thing together and see how it looks when we're done. Okay. So here we are, Fujifilm X-A1, Artisan Obscura hot shoot cover, uh, which I really actually didn't think through because I already have a thumb grip on here. So I think I'm gonna save this for another camera. But in the meantime, I am going to stick this shutter release on this camera. So peel the adhesive back off, try not to touch the adhesive. I'm gonna try to line it up as close to center as I can. There we have it. I'm gonna push down, make sure that it's stuck on there really good. The adhesive feels pretty strong. And you know what? Um, that actually feels really nice. Now with this on here, it feels very similar to my X-T10 with the screw on shutter release. That's actually really nice. Now I'm curious to see how long this adhesive lasts for. I am skeptical that it's gonna last and I'll probably end up losing this. They do send four extra pads, but uh, these are for Ken. Hi Ken. We'll see, we'll see how long they last for. Um, I totally forgot when I ordered this thing. I, I ordered it as a set, like a matching set. I forgot that I had this thumb grip on my XA1, which I love it really. Uh, it's a fairly flat camera, but uh, the thumb grip really helps. So uh, I'm gonna leave this off. Maybe I'll put it on just so you guys can see what it looks like. I've got this uh, Fed 3 here, which is like a Russian uh, Leica copy. So this, even though this is a cold shoe, this would just slide into the groove just to cover up any electrical contacts you would have. Like for instance, on this XA5, you can see the electrical contacts in the hot shoe. It just covers those up and protects them. That actually looks very, very nice on this, uh, this Fed 3. This is a camera that I need to shoot with. I haven't shot a thing with this camera yet. So there we go, Fujifilm X-A1 with an Artisan Obscura sticky backed soft shutter release. That feels fantastic and it seems to be stuck on there 
pretty well. That's impressive. Uh, let me just tilt the camera back up here and I'm going to talk about some other stuff that I've got going on on the table here. All right, just rolled my little table out of the way there so I can get a little closer to you guys. I still have this XA5 that I brought with me to New Zealand. I am gonna go out and shoot some more with this. I really feel like I haven't put this thing all the way through its paces, specifically this new uh, power zoom kit lens, which I'm really, really on the fence about. I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I've got a new cage uh, grip thing for my X-T10 that I got off Amazon. It really gives it a big, nice front grip. And then it's got this removable piece on the side uh, to protect any cables that I would have going in. I'm probably gonna be picking up an X-T20 in the very near future and all of the stuff that I have on this camera transfers directly over to the X-T20 because the body is exactly the same. Uh, what else have I got going on? I picked up this Contax uh, 159mm film SLR body at a camera swap meet that I went to and uh, it was 120 bucks. Mostly I bought it though because it has this Carl Zeiss uh, 50 millimeter f1.7 lens on it. I've ordered an adapter for this lens so I can shoot with it on my Fujifilm X-series bodies. So I will hopefully be reviewing this lens in whenever the, the adapter gets here. I don't know when, hopefully it's soon. Uh, and, and, those of you who have watched recent videos saw that uh, Metro Gallery in Auckland, New Zealand gave me a role, Daryl, the, the owner, gave me a role of uh, Japan Camera Hunter Street Pan 400 in 120 format. I didn't have a medium format camera and he said, well now you have to go get one. I got one, uh, it's right. Here, this thing is huge. This is a uh, Pentax 645. It is, uh, it's a beast of a camera. I've, I've actually put a soft release on this guy as well, uh, just because I think it looks good and it feels nice. Uh, I picked this up for $400 and it came with three film backs um, the lens that's on here right now is a 75 millimeter f 2.8. It also came with this guy here, which is, it's right on here somewhere, uh, 200 millimeter f4, so a bit of a telephoto lens. And this guy here, which is uh, 150 millimeter f 3.5, probably really good for portraits, this lens. Came with some macro extension tubes, like a full set, uh, a 1.4 times teleconverter. Came in this like old school Pelican, like a like a metal hard case with foam dividers and everything. It was whole thing for 400 bucks, and I popped some double A's in it, and it works like absolutely perfectly. So I will be shooting this roll once I have the dummy roll that's in here done. There's an expired roll in here. I just want to make sure everything's working before I shoot this roll. Uh, just one other thing too before I go, um, got a couple of rolls of uh, Fujifilm Acros 100 uh, from the lab the last time I was there. It's just been announced that this film has been discontinued. Uh, it'll be discontinued as of October of this year, I believe, and uh, that is incredibly sad. So I have to really think about what camera I'm going to use to shoot this film because I don't want there to be any chance of it not turning out. It's probably gonna end up in my Minolta Maxim 7000 because that thing is smarter than I am and it's very reliable. So I got two rolls, the end of an era. This was fantastic film. I think that's it. Uh, kind of a rambling all over the place video. Uh, like I said, this stick on, Shutter release is from Artisan Obscura. I will link their website below. And again, this is completely unsponsored. They haven't given me any free product. I bought this with my own money and uh, just showed up in the mail today. So I thought, oh, I'll make a video about it. And uh, I think it's awesome. I think it looks, uh, I think it looks great. It feels a lot better than I thought it would. And uh, I'm really looking forward to going out and shooting with my reliable little XA1 one of my favorite cameras ever. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below if 
you have ever used uh, a soft shutter release, whether it's one of these adhesive ones or a threaded one, what do you think? Do you like them? Don't you like them? I'm personally a big fan, but it doesn't mean you have to be. Um, tell me what you're shooting with. I wanna know, are you shooting film? Do you shoot film? Tell me what film you're shooting. Tell me what film I should try. I've tried a lot, but I'm sure there's some out there that I haven't, so leave a comment below. Tell me what film you want me to try out and I'll uh, do my best to find some and do a review. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.